Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you what's in my work bag or backpack because <laughs> I am a bit lame. Yes, I do have a backpack for work. I'm not one of those super stylish people that have like a beautiful handbag. I still am old school and have a backpack because I think it's just better for my back, to be honest. <laughs> That's the main reason. So I would say without further ado, let's get started. So the backpack itself, I got from my mum, but I'm actually not too sure what the brand is. It does say JG on the zip here. I do actually have to say that it's not the most comfortable bag for my work because it doesn't have any like padding or anything on the back. So um, eventually I do want to look for a different bag. I do like the backpack, but yeah, not ideal for like super heavy stuff. So the first thing obviously is my work computer. I have a MacBook Pro uh, 15 inch computer. So it is a really decent sized computer because we do have to work with like online tools and platforms that just work better on a big screen. And normally I would use a second screen, but this computer is actually so big that I don't need a second screen, which is perfect. The only thing I do have to say is I actually never worked with a Mac computer before. I never owned a Mac computer. So that was definitely an interesting change. I felt like one of those like people that's like open a computer and be like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what button to press. Like I felt like such a like weird old work when someone was like, oh, okay, just copy and paste this. Like, how do you copy and paste on this thing? I have actually no idea. I'm kind of getting it now. I'm still a little bit slow. Like I can tell when I do things normally I'm on my computer at home. Like I'm really quick with doing stuff on the keyboard and here's like, where's control? Like how does this work? Oh, here. And then it's like, I'm literally like a snail <laughs> when I work right now. It's really funny. Anyway, moving on. Um, I do have the matching keyboard. At work I have like a little computer um, stand where I put it on and have like a screen on the side so I don't want to like lean up and kind of try to type something so I have like a separate keyboard and then staying within the theme I do have it's a problem with backpacks it's like everything disappears in the bottom and you just can't find it I do have the magic mask as well which yeah I mean it's just a simple mouse I do actually prefer one of those old school kind of computer mouses so this one I find a little bit tricky to work with so I'm actually not using it that much I quite often do use like just a touchpad oh yeah I mean obviously I have like all the Jesus see that's what happens when you throw cables in here like <laughs> um, keeping it realistic all the cables and headphones and stuff like that so I have like I'm not gonna try to pull this apart now. And then I do have a USB-C charger as well, um, if I wanna charge any of like the mouse stuff. So there's a lot of like technical stuff in here. But um, yeah, moving on to the next thing, which, oh, let me grab that one. It's a bit of a random one, and I've just put this in because that's something that's actually really important to me is having lunch with me at work, which sounds random, but if you, Always go out and buy lunch every single day. A, it takes a lot of time away from your working day to go out and find something and buy it. But it also is really expensive to always buy your own lunch. So I normally prepare something at home the night before, like a salad or like some fried vegetables or whatever. Or what I really like to do as well, like this one is just to bring like packet soups. Like I really like soups, like a slice of bread, take that with me to work, toast it there and have it. Every now and then we do go out, we have like Taco Tuesdays and stuff like that, where I definitely go out and grab something with my colleagues. But yeah, on a normal day I would always bring my own stuff. Probably quite basic. I do have a little notebook as well, um, just yeah, with stuff that I want to write down. I'm kind of old school, I really like just writing stuff down. And then, um, <laughs> Because I just really like it, I do have a bunch of really nice colourful pins. Because I have um, different clients that I work with, then I have like, oh, I feel like this colour works well with that client, but that colour works well with this client. I just like having everything like colourful and creative and I like drawing. They're from Stadler. And then I do have this pin here, which is from uh, Muji, which you can't get in New Zealand, but um, you can get... I definitely know you can get it in the UK. I think you can get it in quite a few places in Europe as well. They do really nice um, pencils and notebooks and like general, I really love the Muji stores. Oh yeah, that's, that's a good one. I got these glasses from my brother for Christmas and I do remember that I mentioned to him once that I would like to have a blue light glasses and he must have remembered and picked glasses. Oh no, actually it was for my birthday. Um, and when I first opened it, I was like, Oh my god, that's so risky buying someone else glasses, no matter if it's sunglasses, normal glasses, because you just don't know if they fit them. And then he gave them to me 
um, when he was on a trip here in New Zealand and then left and then I opened him it's like what if they don't fit or they don't suit me then I can't exchange them he took a lot of risk there but he gambled well because I really loved them I think they look so cool on so let me show you so this is them on it's the typical thing of if you don't have something you want to have it basically kind of like if you have straight hair then you want to have curly hair if you have curly hair or frizzy hair you want to have straight hair if you have no glasses you want glasses so i probably got the best of both worlds now that i can wear glasses to work when i want to and feel like wearing glasses but i'm not i don't necessarily need them but yeah those are blue light glasses and i did already wear them quite a few times at work i'm actually i can't fully tell yet i don't have them for long enough yet to tell if they really help or not I can tell that I do get a headache sometimes when I wear them, but that's more my issue of like, I generally get headaches when I wear glasses, sunglasses as well. I kind of want to try wearing them in the evening actually, so before I go to bed and like do something on my phone, but I do try to wear them like throughout the day a little bit. Um, and they're from the brand Easy Peasy, Easy Peasy, Easy Peasy, I'm not quite sure how you call that one. It's always so weird when you take them off and everything's so bright and like blue all of a sudden. <laughs> Moving on. We have pretty boring a wallet, which I really, really desperately need to replace. This wallet is so old. I don't even want to show it up close. It's so disgusting already. But yeah, I do have another pair of headphones here, which are um, just the wireless Apple AirPods, which I got for my birthday as well. That was a wish of mine um, because those headphones with the cable will just drive me absolutely nuts when I'm it's more actually when I'm at home when I'm like cooking I really like listening to my shows but when you like fry something or cook it's really loud and then you can't hear it on a computer so um, it's really nice having these and you can freely run around but I do still have these ones because every now and then I forget to charge them then I'm in a meeting and then like they just suddenly stop and I just need basically a spare pair of headphones always good to have anyway and then I have my little um, bag with essentials, some hand sanitizer, which I actually don't use that much because I just, when I get to the office, I just wash my hands anyway. A little brush, always, always a must for me, like with my um, somewhat long hair, if it's windy outside, I feel like my hair is like, ugh, when I get to work sometimes, so really essential for me. A, oops. Uh, a nail file, also an essential, because I was biting my nails for so long when I was a child, so that's always a must for me. Hair tie, also always handy to have. A little mirror, like a little compact mirror, which I think is really cute. I do have a concealer, I literally put this in the other day because I had a few spots and I went to the bathroom and all of my kind of makeup came off because I often when I work I kind of like start fiddling around and like kind of play like have my hands in my face and then like I had some spots around here and I went to the bathroom and I was like oh my god like I took all of the concealer off with my hand and of course I don't have a spare concealer with me so I went home and the first thing I did is like take one of my concealers and put it in this bag so I have one now. A lipstick which is the Catrice Clean ID lipstick that's like a really basic colour kind of like a everyday easy to wear throw on colour works with every outfit so if you like we're going out after work for drinks then I just pop that on and then the next thing I always have with me as well is a lip balm this one is from L'Occitane and it's it's literally like nearly empty there's barely anything left in here but it is quite a nice one uh I'll put some on now and the smell is so good I really love the smell of it mm. it's kind of more of like a waxy formula I would say and then I have a hand cream which is nearly empty a hand cream is something that's such an essential for me for work i don't know i as i said like i'm always like biting i was always biting my nails and like the skin around my nails as well so it's really important for me to have the moisturized um but i do need to buy a new one and yeah that, that's it that's everything in my wee little bag actually there's one thing i just grabbed um that i forgot that i do put in sometimes so because we're quite a small office um, we do have a coffee machine and stuff at work, but every now and then like we're running out of milk and then we're like two or three days without milk So I then normally just grab myself a coffee in the morning from home put it in here and take it with me And then we also have like a really nice coffee shop opposite our work So I sometimes like go there and like grab myself a coffee and it's just really nice having something to put it in That's a really nice one. I recently got from Nespresso really like the color, but yeah, that's 
everything because everything that's in my work bag i do try to keep it somewhat simple let me know what you have in your work bag and what's really essential for your job i would say for mine it's definitely like obviously like the laptop stuff and that headphones for meetings and then my lunch i don't know why i'm so picky about that but i really like having my own lunch I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to subscribe because a lot of you are watching my videos are actually not subscribed so it would really help me if you subscribe to my channel and also give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one bye